Wow, <laughs> y'all see these girls? <gasps> this is crazy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm about to do a twist out on my hair for the first time ever. Um, basically for the purpose of actually getting curlier looking hair instead of it just being really frizzy and dry. I'm gonna see if I can really lock in those curls with this video. I also have a little bit of heat damage from the last time that I straightened my hair. So I did cut that off. As y'all could see at the beginning of this video, it looked healthy. But I'm using my Carol's Daughter Water to Foam. Uh, shampoo. <laughs> I'm just making sure that I get the suds in there and I had to wash my hair twice because it's been a while and if y'all get confused that is the reason why. Um, my hair was pretty dirty so it took a while to make everything you know get the suds in there and stuff and to really get the product in but I love how the bottle has an applicator at the top so it's just easy to distribute on my scalp. And it's also really cooling. This is not sponsored. Um, the sponsored content's actually gonna be on Instagram and not on my YouTube channel. I just wanted to show y'all how this worked in my hair. And my hair got super clean from this. So, yeah. And in this next clip, I am using the Mono's Hair Curl Wash slash Co Conditioner. Um, I just felt like it was okay to use. It makes my hair feel really, really soft, even though it is a co-wash as well. But my hair needed it because it was so, <laughs> it was so dirty during that time. So I just had to go ahead and fix that up. I also used a Cantu Shea Butter Conditioner afterwards. Um, and just to let y'all know, the detangling process was super hard because my hair was so matted. <laughs> but I got all the tangles out. I was super gentle with it. And this is what it came out with. You guys, um, this is high porosity hair. It just gets really frizzy afterwards and it's not defined at all. And y'all know this, y'all know my hair. It's always been like that. So yeah. <laughs> Everything else is pretty easy from this point on. I'm just taking it section by section and I'm just going in with a leave-in conditioner and detangling it again. Then I just put in a curl enhancing cream and then I also use a hair gel afterwards just to seal it up. Oh, and um, I also added in like a hair mousse just to keep everything super defined looking. I also forgot to show you guys the products that I was using as well. So for the curl enhancing smoothie, I'm using the Long and Lux Pomegranate and Passion Fruit Curl Defining Cream and Curl Enhancing Smoothie. <laughs> and this is really, really good, you guys. You can buy it at either Target or Sally's. Um, it comes in a really big jar and I love this stuff. It really does define my hair. Um, also for my curl setting gel, I use the Mo Nose Hair brand. And then obviously for the leave-in conditioner, I use my, my favorite Strength and Shine leave-in conditioner by Cream of Nature. It's made with argan oil and Moroccan oil as well. And y'all don't have to do this step, but I also use a wrapping lotion foam. And I don't know what the brand is called. I think it's B and B or something. You can also find it at Sally's. I got it for super cheap. And don't worry, I'm definitely gonna have links for you guys below to go ahead and check all these products out for yourselves because they're amazing.
Okay, so my camera cut off earlier, but I'm done with mostly all of my hair now, twisting it. And basically, if you have high porosity hair like myself, um, what I would do if I were you guys is just really saturate the hair with like um, setting lotion, really good curl enhancing smoothie, a deep leave-in conditioner to detangle, a little Denman brush, and also a hair gel, which I'm using the Cantu Mega Hold Stay glue gel. What I would have done was try to go to the store and get the wet line extreme, but I don't feel like going out during the pandemic. So <laughs> at least not if I don't have to. I am going to just do the rest of my hair right now. By the way, to distribute the product throughout my hair, I'm using a Demon brush. At least that's why I think it is. And I'm just trying to make sure that I get every single strand because my hair gets really dry for no reason after it gets soaked up with product. It takes it in, but then it just goes away. <laughs> so if you have hair like mine, just make sure that you're doing that because you want to make sure that it's saturated with that. Like, look at that. That's how defined it should be looking once you have to twist it. And then you're good to go. So I just went ahead and I twisted my hair. I'm gonna come on camera tomorrow with makeup on, of course, and like contacts and show you how this looks. I'm gonna loosen it up with some hair oil and hopefully this goes well because this is my first time ever actually twisting my hair um, for the purpose of it being a twist out. So let's see how it is tomorrow. Hopefully it works out. I'm gonna just chill with it today. Hey, what's up? It's a new morning. It's the next day. My hair has been locked all night. It's still a little bit damp, kind of, like the slightest bit, but I'm gonna loosen these up so that I can, you know, do my makeup a little bit, look, um, and see how these turn out. It was a lot of work yesterday, but it's a lot easier than having to cornrow my hair for wigs. I'm also going to make sure that I have some hair oil on my hands so that nothing gets really frizzy or anything. This will help to kind of diminish that while I uh, undo these. Wow, do y'all see these curls? And they are hydrated, okay? I have high porosity hair. This is unheard of. Oh my God. I'm not wearing wigs for a minute. I mean, I have to do videos, of course. I have to make money. I need to be doing more natural hair videos. Oh my God, I have a hangnail over here. That is not good for these curls. This is crazy. I feel like this is the most hydrated that my hair has ever been and usually the moisture is just completely out of it at this point point. and honestly look at how much this stretches out and i'm just like untwisting it and i'm gonna separate everything after oh yeah this one's still a bit wet but it's really whatever guys that's so cute and the cool thing is, is like there's no snags in my hair because i legit used my denman brush yesterday and i just like raked through. <laughs> it really, really worked for my hair. actually easy to pull everything apart because it's like it's not dry and there's a lot of stretch to it because of the twists so uh, if you want to just have your hair be more stressed or stressed stretched out um, this is a good way to do it y'all have seen my hair and it's like wash and go state this is like I feel like I'm wearing a unit and now I got like cute little bangs and stuff 
And I also did the, the twist out in the shape that I already wanted. So I definitely wanted a side part here. So I'm going to go do my makeup and stuff, take off my glasses so y'all can see how my hair <laughs> is looking. Okay, you guys. So I just finished doing my makeup. And I have to say, this whole look has got me like really, really shook right now because it just looks so pretty. I'm not used to my hair being like this. Um, what I want to say is that during this time of quarantine, I'm not going to recommend any products that I've been using, but I will list the products um, that I used in different clips because I don't have them with me right now. There's a lot of them that I used. I think it's because I went in with the curling smoothie and I used my Demon brush to brush everything out. I made sure everything got onto all the hair strands because my hair is high porosity. It does not take in moisture very well, or it takes in moisture, but it doesn't stay in my hair. So it leaves like after 30 minutes. So my hair has been like this for the past like couple hours that I've um, unraveled this because I've been walking around my house and stuff just to see how it would, you know, deal. And my hair loves it. It's really, really good. I have to say I'm shocked. Yeah. And my ends look also amazing as well. So uh, I think that's it for this video. I wanted to just show you guys how I do my hair at home. This is just a quick little tutorial. And now I'm going to be doing this instead of just doing wash and goes. If I want to wear my hair natural, I have to do this process because this is so cute. And I honestly will wear this out. It just, it just has such good body to it. And it's very defined at this point in time. Yeah, I hope that you guys liked it. I also posted a video um, on my Instagram of me doing this natural makeup look with this. So be sure to go ahead and check it out at Tima Loves Lemons on Instagram. I'm gonna go do some close-up shots for the intro right now so y'all can go ahead and see it. But I'm loving this and let me know what y'all think down below as well. So stay tuned also for more quarantine vlogs because I'm not going anywhere as usual. Uh, yeah, all right guys, bye.